So we're going to run through, start to finish, a design of something like a guitar combo amplifier case. So this will just show us the basic build, how to add latches, handles, casters, and a foam lining. So we'll create a new project. We'll call this combo test. We don't need to select a customer at this point, and we'll choose a case style that is similar to what we're trying to achieve, shallow base with a bigger lid. Now we have the case model loaded. We can choose our main materials. So we're gonna stick with the default 9.5 millimeter hexaboard just for now. We'll choose a standard angle. We'll choose a standard hybrid in this scenario. The Braces, we will choose something like this four hole brace that's going to go top and bottom and then some corners from bottom. So we will build the case starting with those. So once the case builds, we'll check to see if there's any clashes between the brace and the corners. If so, we can adjust the base height. So yeah, that all looks good. Obviously you can choose your own dimensions. So for this scenario, we will take some measurements that are slightly more realistic. Maybe we'll have a hundred millimeter in the base. We'll just generate that case again, and that will rebuild. And it's already starting to look a little bit like a guitar combo. So what we can do is we use a couple of latches. We'll do the latches first. And in this scenario, we'll just use a medium latch and we'll place four of these on the case. The software knows the faces that these latches could be on. So we're going to choose this front face for now. We're going to position the latch and want to align it to the left as a, a fixed point. So we'll choose the left anchor and then we'll choose a measurement either from our presets or just type it in here. So that first latch can be placed. The speed and because I would always want my latches to be symmetrical, I'm going to use the mirror function, selecting the planes to mirror that around. Those latches will cut in and we now have four latches on our case. Choose this end face and place a single handle. Use something like this from Penelcom. And at this point, we have a choice of anchor points. So this anchor point is all to do with maintaining the measurement from that anchor point once it's placed and once the case changes size later on. So maybe you might want to keep the handle right down the middle of the whole case and you would select this anchor point as a reference point. Or maybe you might be more interested in maintaining a measurement from this anchor point up. Or maybe you might want it from the bottom or maybe you might want it from the top down. So let's say I want it from the very bottom. I might want it 400 millimeters up from the bottom of the case. Now, if I change my base or lid height, this handle will actually stay the same height on the very bottom of the case. So we'll apply the handle. We can use the mirror tool to quickly Put another one on the other face. Now we have our handle and latches all mirrored. We have a mirror indicator at the top, which we can turn on or off, and you can see which of your hardwares are essentially the master part within that mirror. And then these lighter gray icons are showing you that essentially these parts are part of the parent. So here we have basic hardware on the case. Uh, so we can make a slight change to the dimensions if we want to at this point, just to show you things updating, maybe make the base slightly higher and our latches will maintain the position from the ends of the case and the handles maintain the position from the anchor point we selected. So now we need to put some casters on this case. So we'll use caster strips in this scenario. We're going to choose the face of the case that we want this on, which is the underside. The width defaults to 120, which is fine. 
and we will place the caster strip at 135 millimeters from the end of the case, but that could be anything. You can make it 130 if you want, but we'll go back to 135. And if you just want to bring the caster board in ever so slightly, you'll see this three millimeter offset has been applied and it's just brought it in. You can leave this as zero if you wish. So replace that caster board onto the case and then we can put some wheels on it. We could place the other caster board at this point, but I'm just gonna show you one quick way of using the mirror function. So we can place brake caster, top left anchor, to maintain this position. You see, as it comes in, it goes red because it's trying to connect it to a caster board at the moment, which is not there. But the moment we're on the caster board, it's happy. 135 millimeters in, so we're now central on that caster board because the caster board's 135 from the end to the middle as well. And we'll put the wheel quite high up at 60 millimeters and 80 millimeters measurements. So we now have first caster placed. We can place an unbraked caster on as well. Choose the bottom left anchor and we can either drag and drop or we can use our measurements entering the same measurements. So these casters are now symmetrical. At this point, it's quick and easy. Select the caster board and the two wheels and then the middle mirror plane. Hit the green tick and this whole section is now mirrored over to here. So we now have casters on our case. We're going to go to the internal design. And so now we're ready to place foam inside the case. Choose a thickness that we need to use. In this scenario, I'm going to choose 25 mil plastazote. And we can simply click around the internal faces of the flight case and the foam will sense how big it can go. So we still need to put the piece of foam on the very top. So just to help me with this, I'm gonna hide all of my foam, and then add one more piece of foam, and then that will allow me to click at the top and add that piece of foam, and now, we have a fully foam lined flight case with 25 millimeter and we have our complete guitar combo case complete with our cutting list for the foam and all of our other billing materials as well. Obviously you can now save this as a preset and adjust the size and everything will update accordingly.